Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing a Clay Depot try on haul. I purchased all of their new spring 2019, spring summer 2019 stuff, which includes two cream eyeshadows, their uh, new luminizing face enhancer, which is like a highlighter, and also I have two of their refined lip luminizers. The lip luminizers and the highlighter I have already talked about. And I also got, uh, and I just talked about in my haul video, the Radiant Fluid Foundation and the Correcting Cream Veil. So we're just gonna put all this stuff on together. This will be a really chill video, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, wait, before we get started, I got samples of this Hydro Softening Lotion from Clay de Po. I got three of these little packets. I've already used two, and it's amazing. It's called a lotion, but it's, uh, it's kind of like an essence. So I put it on after my toner, before all the rest of my serums or whatever, and it is so, so good. I have that on today and I am definitely gonna be picking this up. Please let me know if you've tried this, the Hydro Softening Lotion. I think it's fairly new to their line and I'm actually not that familiar with the Clay de Peau uh, skincare line. I have um, some of their makeup, but not much of their skincare. So Hydro Softening Lotion. Let me know if you guys have used this because so far, I am loving it. I am really, really loving it. All right, so let's start with this Correcting Cream Veil. So this has an SPF of 21, and it has a really beautiful kind of radiance to it. It's one of those products that immediately kind of attracted me. I was shopping with a friend, and she actually recommended this, and she told me that she uses this on its own when she doesn't feel like doing much uh, makeup, if maybe she's kind of having a no makeup kind of day. And she says that she'll just put this on, like kind of as an SPF, and that's it. But she likes how it kind of perfects her skin. So it comes out of the tube like a lotion, but once you start spreading it on the skin, it kind of has like a drier feeling to it. I'm wondering if that's the SPF in there. And it also has that very faint Clay de Peau rose scent. Very, very faint though. I like the little bit of radiance that it gives my skin. It's not much. It's not like one of those really like highlighty illuminators. It's very, very subtle, but it is really nice. I can see why my friend likes to use this all on its own. Yeah, I really like that pearly finish that it gives my skin, but I'm not really seeing like, what the hell? That was not a booger, that was a dog hair. But I'm not really seeing like a white cast from the SPF, which is a good thing. So that is the Correcting Cream Veil. Very nice, very, very nice. All right, let's move on to foundation. I have the Radiant Fluid Foundation, again, nothing new. This has SPF 24 in it, and I got the color 010. And in the, uh, the foundation, the one that comes in the jar, I'm an 020. So the shades are definitely a little bit different uh, between these two. So here is what the bottle looks like, and it's got a nice pump at the top. And I basically asked the sales associate at the Clay de Beau counter what the lightest foundation was that they had, and she pointed to this one. So I really wanted to give this a shot. Ah, before I go any further, I'm gonna put on some of this Suwasu Lip Serum. It's so good. All right, so I'm just gonna shake this up. I'm just gonna start with one pump. It has a little bit of a runny texture there. And I'm just using my Sonia G Base One brush to blend that all in. All right, I'm gonna pump out one more pump, or like kind of like a half pump, a weak one pump, and use that on my forehead. And then any extra, I guess, around my eyes where I generally need a little bit more coverage. Wow, it has a really smooth finish. My goodness. A really, really smooth finish, but it has a very light medium coverage. Really, really nice. And the radiance in it, I don't think is overpowering at all. It is very, very subtle. I think it works actually very nicely with this um, correcting cream veil. Really pretty. It makes my complexion look really like softened. That's very nice, very, very nice. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Radiant Corrector for Eyes. I've been using the Armani Power Fabric uh, a lot. And since we're doing Clay de Peau today, I figured I would go back to this old favorite, but I love this product. So I mentioned this uh, Radiant Corrector for Eyes in my uh, February favorites, and I was talking about it in reference to the new YSL 
uh, Touche Eclat High Cover Radiant Concealer. And people ask me to compare it to this one. And I find that this one is more radiant. Uh, it's a little bit creamier and it has a little bit less coverage. So I just wanted to reiterate that in case you were wondering and maybe missed that video. But that would be like my quick comparison between the two. All right, so it's time to set down my concealer and foundation. I'm gonna use my favorite Clay de Peau uh, Loose Translucent Powder. All of these products, I should mention, all have that Clay de Peau Rose scent. It's very, very faint, but it is very there. So if that is something that bothers you, if you are sensitive to rose scented things, Clay de Peau probably is not the line for you. I'm just gonna throw that out there because pretty much all of their things have this like signature rose fragrance to it. So I'm gonna use my Isum X51 brush. Muse Beauty Pro was actually kind enough to send this brush to me, but it has that nice kind of tip to it that I like to use to set down um, under eye or concealer around my eyes. So I'm just coating all the way around here and I'm going to put that point right underneath my eye and roll. And I like to do this when I have like a creamier uh, kind of concealer down and I'm afraid that I'm gonna like move it. So I like to not brush over it. I like to just kind of roll my powder over it. All right, so for bronzer, I have the Clay de Peau Bronzing Powder Duo in shade number one. It's basically a split pan with two uh, different shades and I just kind of go between both of them. And I'm using my Sonia G Sculpt One brush and I'm just gonna sculpt out my cheekbones a bit. And this bronzer is really beautiful. It's subtle. It has like this slight um, like peachy undertone. It's not just uh, like orangey. It actually is like, um, like the undertone is like right in between red and orange. So I think it's very, very uh, complimentary. It's not, you know, too warm, but it, there's a warmth to it. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it's not too orangey is what I'm trying to say. So that is the bronzing powder duo. And again, because of this undertone, this is one of those bronzers that I really like to brush across my nose because it's not too, um, it's not too orangey. It's also not too neutral. So it really looks like sun-kissed, I find, at least on my skin tone. So I like kind of brushing it across my nose and it just adds like a little bit, like I've been out in the sun, I look a little healthy. I'm not a recluse like I really am. So I really love that bronzer. The, the tone is just great. All right, next we have blush. And I've been using the Clay de Peau Cream Blush a lot, but I also have one of their um, blush duos in this like face palette of theirs. And that's this guy. So I'm gonna use this blush today. This is blush number 103. And I'll have everything listed down below in my description box if you are interested. But I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one today. Give the cream blush a rest. And I'm gonna use my Sonia G Cheek Pro brush. I'm gonna just kind of dip into both. They're fairly close. This one is just a little bit more neutral and this one is like a little bit brighter. So I'm just gonna go between both of them. Just place that on my cheekbone. So there's that blush, really pretty kind of satin sheen there. Very nice. And then next we have one of the new products. I've already shown this on my channel. I hauled this uh, a little while ago and I've used it, I think a couple of times, maybe in my playing with makeup video. And I love this. And I wasn't quite sure, like, was this a new shade? Was it a re-promote? Because their shades are numbered and I, I just wasn't sure. But anyway, this apparently is a new shade to their luminizing face enhancers. So this one is number 18. And I have two other ones. This one by far is my favorite. A lot of the more uh, pastel-y ones, there's one that's called like Almond, which I have. They're very, very subtle. So if you really just don't want any kind of highlighty, highlighty kind of metallic kind of highlight, those are definitely more for you. They're just a little bit brightening, of course, depending on your skin tone, and they'll like kind of like lift your cheekbone a little bit, but there isn't gonna be that like shine to them. And then I have one that is almost like a blush topper. It's like very, very peachy. This one is gorgeous. This one I think has a nice metallic shine. There's a little bit of warmth to it, but not too much. Like the peach in here is not too strong. So I have been loving this new luminizing face enhancer. All right, so I'm gonna take my Sonia G Sculpt 2 brush. This is the original Sculpt 2. She just came out with a new one that has longer bristles, but this is the original one. And I'm just gonna go into this number 18 luminizing face enhancer. It's a pretty soft powder, so you can see how much I pick up. I didn't mean to pick that up. 
just go in with this. And I think what I love the most about this highlight is the tone of it. It's a very kind of like French vanilla kind of tone. It's just very creamy looking. It doesn't look too peach. It doesn't look too champagne-y. It doesn't, you know, there's no like strange duochrome going on. It's just a really, really beautiful, creamy kind of subtle highlight. Isn't that pretty? So I love this. This is a great kind of like real life highlight. This is not like an Instagram highlight or if you want to just blind people with your highlight. This is a very beautiful like everyday kind of highlight. And these luminizing face enhancers, they have a pretty glittery overspray to them. It goes away very quickly. It's like as soon as you brush your finger over it, it's pretty much gone. It's not a very thick overspray, thank goodness, but probably your first couple times of using this, you're going to find like little micro glitters in your um, highlight, but that goes away. It goes away pretty quickly. So there is the luminizing face enhancer. Isn't that pretty? All right, and then I have a Clé de Peau um, eyebrow pencil. I think I just mentioned this in my mini reviews for products that I talked about in June 2018. I like this eyebrow pencil, but I don't think that there's anything terribly special about it. It's um, it's one of those, it's double-ended, it has a spoolie on one side, it has the angled kind of uh, oval-shaped tip at the other end. It's nice, it's nice, but again, I don't find it to be any better than any of my other eyebrow pencils, like the Hourglass, uh, the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. It's it's similar to that, and I have it in the shade, I should let you know. Uh, the one cool thing about this is that it is like refillable. So I have this in the shade 204, and you can just get this outer case once and then just continuously get the refill, which is nice. So I'm gonna use this today since we are doing clay to Poe. It is definitely a waxier pencil, so it's kind of hard or almost impossible to uh, make too dark of a line, which is great. It's kind of like idiot proof, which is perfect for me. All right, and now for the two new cream eyeshadows. So I've never used any cream eyeshadow from Clay de Peau, but I got one of their cream blushes that I've talked about already, and I love it. So I was very, very tempted by these. And if you guys watched my uh, five makeup products I'm a sucker for, um, I mentioned potted products. I just love little pots of makeup, so. This was perfect for me. So the two colors that came out for spring, 308 and 309. 308 is like a very light, uh, like pearly color. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go in with 309 first on the outer corner, or should I go in with 308? Let me go in with 308. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Worker 2 brush. This is basically the Worker 1 brush, but it has undyed goat hair, so you can use it with cream products. And here is what that product looks like. Isn't that pretty? It's almost like the cream eyeshadow version of the highlight. So when I hauled this product, I think I talked about this uh, just most recently in my haul video. When I swatched it, I was like, oh my God, this is the most amazing like cream highlight. So maybe what I'll do is, I'm just gonna take my finger and just kind of highlight down the bridge of my nose a little bit. Ooh, ooh, that is nice. Maybe up here a little. Oh, that can definitely work as a cream highlighter. So this 308 Clay de Peau eyeshadow, if you're looking for a cream highlight, this could be the one. Very, very pretty. Let me put some down here. Ooh, great, 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 great. Oh, let me put some here. Let me put some actually on my eyes. So again, with the Worker 2 brush, I'm just gonna go in, pick up some product, and I'm just gonna apply this on the inner portion of my lid. Oh, that's so pretty. And I'm pretty much just bringing it towards like the center of my lid here. My plan is just to, you know, blend these two colors together as they meet in the middle. So there's the 308 on my lids. Wow, that's very, very pretty. And now I'm gonna take this 309 color, which is this beautiful like metallic bronze. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna put this on the outer corner of my lids and bring it towards the center and hope to blend it out with the 308. That's the plan. So I'm just taking the same brush and just gonna start kind of lightly swiping and bringing that in. 
Oh, pretty. And look, they just blended really beautifully. One right on top of the other. They just blend right into one another. Really, really beautiful. Wow. And this color is so pretty. It has like a copper shift in there. So there are the two cream eyeshadows applied. I am not disappointed at all. I am really loving these. The formula is so easy to work with. Easy to pick up with the brush, easy to lay down, easy to blend out. There's nothing better than makeup that just works with you. All right, next for eyeliner, I have one of those double-ended uh, Clé de Peau liquid eyeliners. It has like a brush tip at one end, and then on the other end, it has like a smaller felt tip. It is very, very similar to the Tom Ford, if not identical. And this was another product I thought was, you know, nice, but I didn't think that it was like, like you had to run out and get this one. It's very nice though, it's very nice. So I have the color one, which is black. I'm not sure if they have other colors in this, but I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes with the brush end. I am not gonna do a wing or anything, so I'm just lining along my lash line here. All right, so that's the liquid eyeliner on. I don't have a pencil eyeliner from Clé de Peau, so I'm just gonna use this um, Pat McGrath uh, eyeliner in Blitz Brown. I wanna just tight line a little bit. I have really thick um, eyelids, so you can always see like right underneath my lash line there and uh, maybe throw some onto my waterline. All right, we're gonna move on to lips and I'm a little disturbed because I have two of the new uh, refined lip luminizers and my other one I could have sworn was in my purse. So I just ran down to my car where my purse is and it's not in there, but I'm pretty sure I pulled it out when I went shopping with uh, my friend because she was interested in them and I was like, oh, do you wanna try mine? And I'm pretty sure I pulled it out. So I don't know if I left it at the counter. Sorry, so I wanted to put on the color that I can't find, which is number one, Old Rose. So I'm just gonna put on number six, Rose Drage. Every time I feel like I look up the pronunciation of that word, it's different. So I think it's Drage. And this is a brighter pink than the Old Rose. The Old Rose is a little bit more neutral, which is why I wanted to put it on, but this is fine. And I've talked about these quite a bit, but since we're talking about the Clay de Peau Spring 2019 releases, let me just repeat myself. Uh, but this is basically a newly reformulated and newly repackaged version of their lip luminizers, which I have the original of. So this is the enriched lip luminizer, I think is what they were called. These are the refined lip luminizers. So this was the old packaging and these were uh, refillable and I think they're, yeah, these are refillable. So I actually have this color 220 and then I had another color, 232. So I only had one case and I thought, oh, well, I'll just kind of swap them or whatever. I never really ended up doing it. So as much as I love the idea of a refillable case, I never really quite take advantage of them. And I even thought, oh, I should just get another case for this. But they've repackaged them and they've reformulated them. This packaging, not refillable, um, but they have a really cool like loose sight bottom with like a swatch of the color inside. It's so pretty, it looks like a rose petal. So let me go ahead and apply this. I feel like I'm gonna want to put on maybe some lip liner with this, but I just mentioned these uh, lippies in my favorites because they are so, so comfortable. I love throwing them on. They give you like a very moisturized look. They're tinted enough so that they kind of add a little bit of polish to your look. You know, if you want just like a little bit of something, they're just wonderful. And the formula I do like better than the older ones. The older ones were a little bit more slick, a little bit more oily. These, while I find them actually more hydrating than those, they're not quite as like loose and thin in texture. I just, I really, really enjoy these. So that is a pretty like pink color. So I'm gonna use a lip liner to kind of tone it down a little bit. I've got my Chanel uh, natural lip liner here. And I'm just going to draw it right over. All right, and last but not least, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my uh, Guerlain Meteorites as a finishing powder. And I've got my trusty Sonia G Face One brush here. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.